Item Number SCP-6427 Security Level Not Applicable Containment Class None Disruption Class None Risk Class None Item Number SCP-6427 Pending Approval Object Class Keter Pending Approval Special Containment Procedures Undefined Note Forward this to HCML Rep. Description SCP-6427 is the temporary designation given to an entity currently inside Site-324. The full extent of its abilities is currently unknown, but it is believed that SCP-6427 is capable of teleportation, abnormal feats of strength, and enhanced agility. Discerning additional abilities has presented several challenges due to the ongoing situation. SCP-6427 possesses irregular body proportions, with some appendages extending over 2 meters further than others. I'll be cleaning up the description when the entity is breathing down my neck, I hope. SCP-6427 possesses mild anti properties, which it theoretically uses in order to avoid description. As if anyone would describe a single creature for long, especially at this hour. Also, double check the meaning of anti mimetic later. SCP 6427 was discovered after sightings of a hostile force inside Site 324 were confirmed on December 10th, 2021. The entity proceeded to engage several members of site security, ultimately overpowering them and turning towards nearby personnel. This is probably off tone. Hopefully, I'll be able to fix it later. The entity materialized inside Junior Researcher Michael's sniffing quarters at approximately 3.56 a.m. Bastard. Remove this later. And was subsequently restrained accidentally by a file describing it. A male girl if you take into account the battery left on my laptop, which my girls had made in an attempt to communicate with any available member of site staff. I will never thank orientation enough after this. We all laugh if you see an entity launching at you, use your last breath to document it. But I guess it's not always about being part of an undercover meat grinder with these people. SCP-6427 is sought to possess an aversion to then descriptions of it, which render it inert. Verbal descriptions and video logs seem to have no effect since the entity did not stop until I wrote its designation. When SCP-6427 is actively described in the document, it assumes a fetal position, although a pause longer than a second restores its ability to move. Note, I was willing to risk it for science. It's practically on top of me now. Although SCP-6427 could remain contained indefinitely, provided I find my power cord, by describing it, this method of containment is unfeasible, in part due to the last active 560 minutes ago. Page lock expired.